Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome back to Lady Farah Tarot. I am Lady Farah, and I am so excited to use the Circoli Oracle today. Listen, guys. Usually, I don't play with Oracle cards until I read the book. I'm very big on like reading the book before I ever use the cards, but they're so beautiful and I just wanted to play with them. So well, I'll just read it out of the book. It's not one of those long, reedy things. It's it's okay. So this is the Circoli Oracle and I'm also playing with the um, um, the Cavendish, Judy Cavendish um, Vampire uh, Shapeshifters, which I haven't even shuffled yet. Look, I can't even shuffle. Oh, okay, let's try that <laughs> again. But thanks everybody who's been subscribing, who's been liking. I mean, I got a message like from Bangladesh the other day. I mean like seriously, Bangladesh? I don't think I got there on YouTube. I think I got there on Facebook. But anyway, that was pretty cool. So who knows, right? Who knows who you're talking to? Spirit talks to everybody, right? So since I've got the Judy Cavendish vampire uh, deck in my hand, I'm just gonna start with it. Happy Halloween. You know, it's my favorite holiday besides Easter. I like Easter too. But um, Halloween is, you know, big for me. So I will be posting tons of Halloween pictures because we're going to have trick-or-treaters this year. So I'm really excited about it. All right. I got to stop talking about myself, guys. I'm so sorry. Angels, spirits, guys. Guys. Do you have a message for the collector? Angel spirits, guys. Do you have a... Ooh, that one really wanted to flip. Angel Burnt by the sun, courtesy. Hmm, interesting. Interesting vampires. All right, let's see. Look at these guys. Burnt by the sun. Um, wow. I just want to move this camera out a little bit, guys, so you can see this a little bit better. All right, that's a little bit better, right? Um, burnt by the sun. Ambition, um, extension, and reach. Two plus eight is a ten. It might be the end of something. You might have been reaching for something. You were a little ambitious and you extended yourself and you kind of got burnt. I'm having a little bit of a feeling about that. Um, yeah, but it's a two and an eight, so that makes a 10. So that's an ending, right? That's cool. Here, let me do it this way. Sorry, guys. Um, courtesy. Thoughtful, polite, and good manners. Three and an eight. Thoughtful, polite, and good manners with a three and an eight. I almost feel like you're being good mannered to wolves. And I don't know if you should be doing that. You know? Uh, I kind of feel like you. it's nice to be, uh, you know, you have courtesy. I like courtesy. People who are polite to me go a really long way. And it's nice to be thoughtful and polite. But, you know, if you were being, you're being nice to people that might not deserve your niceness, you know, watch out for that, okay? And it's coming in with hope, um, anticipation, bright prospects, wish, a four and a three. Hmm. I feel with the four... I almost feel like uh, you're you're looking at something that is a bright prospect that you there might be a, some wish fulfillment here with the four, you know maybe um, an eleven eleven, but um, it's an anticipation like you're anticipating it. I don't know if you're being. I feel like these are two different people. I feel like these are all different energies. I feel like I got one person who's tuning in here who's being a little too courteous to people. I see somebody who's hoping that there's going to be some kind of marriage. I actually kind of do see like an 11-11 thing going here. But this one, I do feel like somebody overreached. They were a little ambitious and they got burnt, okay? So let's just use, um, I'm going to look at these cards, the um, 
Sacoli Oracle. Let's uh, clarifying with oracles could be even more cuckoo, but I'm going for it. We'll read it from the book. Um, thank you for being patient while I shuffle. I don't like doing pre shuffles, but I'll try and get on with it. Come on, come on, spirit. Angel spirits, guides. What do you have for the collective? I know you have a message for the collective. What do you want them to hear? I've got two on the table. Four. Nine. And 29. Didn't we have, oh no, we had a two and an eight and a two and a nine. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at it, guys. Number four. Look, this is in Italian, it has it in Italian. At first I got scared. I'm like, oh my God, I ordered cards that are all in Italian. How am I gonna learn them? Vigilance, number four. Keep an eye on the situation, but don't do anything yet. There will be time for action later and your energies will be needed then. You have a better idea of what's going on and you can maintain an attitude of detached observation. This is not the time to give in to your emotions or be dragged down by other people's drama. Remove yourself from petty squabbles, circular arguments, and people who are chasing their own tails. <laughs> I know a lot of people like that. When you rise above dust and turmoil, you'll be clear on the issues, okay? Keep your observations to yourself, okay? Don't try to be too ambitious, okay? Just don't overreach or you're going to get burnt if you didn't already get burnt. Okay, just keep your, keep it to yourself. There's no immediate danger, but the situation is changeable. Let's look at this one. We had courtesy and we had number nine. Let's look at number nine. Number nine, happy place. Your happy place might be a physical place or it simply might be a happy state of mind. It includes your loved ones, your favorite pastimes, your dear animal friends. What are the elements that come together to fill your heart with happiness? This card is a sign that it might be time to visit that happy place. You need to cast off your worries for a while and trust that the universe is taking care of you. You can be safely relaxed and replenished in your emotional well-being. That's coming in with courtesy. So... I feel like it's time to go home. Like it's time to take care of your emotional well-being. Like you've almost been like too fucking, I, I, like I don't know why the F word is coming in my mouth. I'm sorry, that's kind of bad. But um, I don't know why you're so effing polite all the time. I feel you've been so effing polite. You've been eating nothing but cake. Filling your felt. this is what I do when I'm, I, get, I, get, I eat cake, definitely. So you fill in your face with cake. Um, you're offering the damn wolf a baguette, you know, like you got to stop because you're not feeling too good. And I, it's time to go home and do something that you used to like a favorite pastime. Go snuggle with your dog. All right. That's what I got for that. And hope, anticipation, bright prospects and wish with a four and a three. And it's coming in with 29, 29, um, Curiosa. Oh, because I'm reading it in Spanish. <laughs> oh, boy, guys. Welcome to my craziness. Intimidation. Someone may be trying to exploit your weaknesses or what they perceive as your weaknesses. Don't buy into their view. Don't let yourself be intimidated and held down by lack of confidence. Stand up for who you are and what you believe in. And if you are the one who is an intimidating others, ask yourself, is this really how I want to win? There's a big difference between being a leader and being a bully. You think? Okay. Uh, a good friend is standing by to help you, but you must help yourself first. Stop distorting facts. Okay? Stop distorting facts. I know there's an anticipation of a bright prospect. But don't distort the facts. That's what I'm getting for this. And watch out. Like Pinocchio is sticking his nose up your skirt and he might be telling you some stories, girl. 
so I don't know is this upside down am I what am I doing oh, yeah this way all right just um be careful of uh you know the, the guy with the stick at the end of his nose because he might be telling you some stories and i but i and there's a wish i know you have your heart set on something but you gotta you got don't yeah don't distort facts okay where are we at time wise 10 minutes and 18 seconds love you guys thank you for tuning in i'm doing live reads on saturday not sunday um Sorry, I'm telling you here. But anyway, have a great, great night. I love you. Thanks for coming.